Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And uh, I'm in my workshop again. I've been doing some um, fiddling around in here. Got a day off. It's a nice day, as you can see. And um, this uh, video is going to be about this vacuum here. And um, uh, I'm going to explain why I use this particular vacuum what its advantages are and um i've had a few people asking me about this so uh, what we've got here is this is actually a, a kirby it's a centrio and there's a few things about this that make it stand out uh, as far as uh, just a, a vacuum goes anyway um, for one they have tremendous power and the reason they have such power is because this vacuum is what's called a fan forward design and the uh, vacuum motor and the fan where the intake is is right here so it's literally just a few inches away from the carpet and the amount of air that it mo moves through the uh, head and through the carpet is uh, very significant. Um, I think that this vacuum in uh, its original configuration is around 135 or so CFM, but with the uh, uh, Sanitaire dirt cup on there, I, I, I believe it's significant, significantly more. Um, but, uh, but a few of the things what makes this a great vacuum is one, as you can see, I just popped the head off very easily. And uh, it's very easy to get at the uh, at the brush roll if you need to clean it out. Um, and I actually typically will just hose that out, believe it or not, because um, it sometimes it gets uh, um, fibers in here a little bit. It just, I've never had it choke up on me, but uh, it can sometimes, especially since I do uh, post vacuum on carpets that are sometimes. A little bit damp um, you can get some build up in there a little bit it's easy to clean it out as far as popping the uh, the brush roll out if you need to get at it just open that up just pull it out and there you go very easy um, the uh, brush roll itself has got three settings so that as the brush uh, bristles wear down you can move the power the um, brush roll closer and closer to the car but there's three settings uh, so it lasts a good long time um, But with the amount of vacuuming I do Because I vacuum literally a few hours every day with it um, I, I get about in a week. I get what most people wouldn't using a vacuum in a home uh, In a week. Uh, I've got about the same amount of use actually <laughs> And anyway, um, as you can see the thing is made of metal. I like metal shiny metal too. It's made of aluminum actually Anyway, so the head just pops back in place. Uh, the belt actually is very easy to replace. Just going to double check something here. Oh, I have to reset the belt. What I do is uh, you, do, you spin this device on the front and it repositions the belt so it'll hook onto the spindle here. So anyway, put that in place. Latch, latch that. Re-engage the belt. And I'm ready to go. Uh, it has a light, LED light. And uh, one of the reasons I prefer the Centria is because it is LED as opposed to the older ones which were incandescent and broke all the time. And, and I got this vacuum not very long ago actually, and the light was broken, which is unusual for an LED for one of these. But anyway, um, the Centria actually has a slightly more airflow than the earlier models. It's also apparently a little bit lighter. Not that that's a big deal to me, I don't really care. Um, the other thing that makes this vacuum excellent to use is this device right here. What that does is it raises and lowers this head. And because it does that, you're able to adjust this vacuum to um, be at the exact right height for each carpet. Because some carpets, it needs to be down really low and other ones up higher. And a lot of vacuums, they just kind of float along at a preset um, height and uh, it's a it's a compromise. Uh, there are certain carpets that I can run into which are very thick. Like the the uh, some of those um, uh, 
the decorator rugs. I can actually vacuum them with, with this because I can raise this thing up but so high. And if need be, I can disengage the, the brush roll and run it just on straight suction, which I have on occasion done. Um, when you're using the vacuum, the handle um, is actually spring-loaded so that it actually doesn't have any, there's no weight on it at all. This one is slightly off balance because of the um, modified bag I have on there, and I'll get to that in a sec. Um, and uh, this handle is actually not the handle for this particular vacuum. It's an older version, and the reason I'm using that is because it just uh, works with the adaptation I've done over here a little bit better. The uh, Centria, this is actually what it normally would look like right here. Here's, here's a, a completely stuck Centria with its original bag and everything and the handle. So that's the same vacuum as I'm showing you over there. But um, now the other thing that uh, makes these vacuums really, really neat, uh, by the way, it's all made of metal. So it's, uh, it doesn't scratch up so easily. You can scratch them. I had an employee, he liked to bang it into things, uh, bed frames and everything, and he'd scratch the head. It drove me cuckoo. I could polish it out, but anyway, you don't want to do that. The other thing that makes this thing really neat is this. This device right here is actually a transmission, and the wheels are powered. And when you're vacuuming all day long, which I am, <laughs> Having a machine that actually powers itself is uh, so much easier on you physically. So this machine, when you give it a slight amount of pressure on the handle, it pulls itself forward. Slight amount of pressure backwards, it pulls itself back. There's virtually no effort to um, making this vacuum move across the carpet. And um, I think it's about two pounds pressure, if I remember correctly. So it's very easy to move. Now, the other thing about this vacuum is that when I do steps, this handle will lower all the way down and then it latches so that I can actually lift the vacuum up and hold it like so and go over the uh, steps very easily. Um, and not very many vacuums will do that so readily. So this will actually, I can actually get that power head right onto the, uh, onto the um, step. And it does a fantastic job of vacuuming steps and steps. Very few people ever do a decent job of vacuuming their own steps. So <clears throat> um, that's another thing that it does. Um, now the other thing is that is you're looking at this vacuum and you're thinking, what on earth have I done to it? <laughs> Uh, the, the, um, what you're looking at is a modification. This vacuum normally would have a bag like this here, and the bag uh, just clips right there. And there's a bag. It hooks on where this thing is. They call that a dirt emptor. Very uh, 50s, eh? <laughs> anyway, um... So that's the bag that it would normally have on it. It has a paper bag in there and uh, HEPA filtration, etc. Uh, you could throw the bag away. But the reason I have this is so that I can show people what happens. Because this thing will fill up like crazy. Because this vacuum has the power to actually lift the most carpets off the underpad. It'll draw air from the top of the underpad right through the carpet fiber and into the bag, obviously. And then I can show them what's in here because I have this, uh, it's a sanitaire, a commercial sanitaire uh, bag. It's a cloth bag and uh, the uh, dust and everything drops down into this clear container here. And I often, I'll often fill it and then some in it. And even on carpets where they didn't realize it was so soiled. But anyway, how did I make this? Well, actually it's very simple. This is a, uh, this part here is actually from an older Kirby. Um, and then what I've used is this little piece of tubing here. 
is right here. This is actually a drain for an RV, a drain pipe for an RV. And then I have a, a 90 degree ABS uh, cuff there, I guess. Um, and then I just slide the end of the uh, Sanitaire dirt cup assembly right over top of there and a hose clamp. Done. Uh, as far as the, um, you see how easy it comes off? As far as the um, attaching goes, all I did was um, put like a, 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 an L-shaped bracket in here. And then there's a screw in the back here, which actually, it came, it, it, it's on the handle already. And uh, that holds this this bracket on here. It, it, it's been here for three years. <laughs> Not a problem. It's always been loose that, that way, by the way. <laughs> which is fine. It just moves it around, doesn't matter. So I'll just put it on. Lock it in place. Hook it on. And away I go. I never have to buy bags. And uh, and that's how I uh, modified the Kirby, and uh, I think it's the the best choice for a vacuum. Um, they are not a cheap vacuum to buy. When you buy them new, they they um, in Canada they're usually over three thousand dollars apparently, so that's not cheap. I don't know what they would be in the U.S., but you can often find them uh, pretty reasonable um, used, and you've seen my. Recent video, I showed you I had, uh, I think I said I had eight of them. I actually found out I have nine. I found one hiding under all of my tables over here. I have nine of these things. Um, I just find them used. I don't usually pay too much for them. I think I paid, I did pay a few hundred for this one and the, the other complete century I have over there. I paid about 400, I think, or so. So anyway, um, that's the uh, OxyDry max vac and how uh, i did it uh, and uh, if you want a really excellent vacuum i do recommend the kirby you don't have to go with the bag arrangement that i've got even the original setup works just fine it's just nice to be able to show your customer the junk you're picking up and you don't have to ever buy bags although they're not that expensive i guess but anyway so that's how that works